Hey there, it's Jay once again with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. Today we train our dragon, race with the cat, have a sword fight, try out shipbuilding, play aggressive football, and have a bite of pixel RPG. Let's go! So dragons. School of Dragons is our first game for today, and it's another one based on the How to Train Your Dragon 2 cartoon. This time we have a full-fledged 3D RPG with colorful graphics and the ability to chat with every, as far as I'm concerned, character of the cartoon. Here you have to train, fly someone else's adult dragons, complete tasks, and even raise your own small dragon to help it grow strong and obedient. Well, and then you can show off online. Yes, there's an MMO part of the game where you can make friends and fight other players. The game requires a constant internet connection as it updates quite frequently. New quests appear and stuff like that. In short, it's a cool game. I recommend it. The second game is Tom and Jerry Mouse Maze. This, I think, is the most nostalgic thing I've seen lately. Thomas. Because when we used to watch Tom and Jerry, we played games like Pac-Man or Chip and Dale. This game combines the heroes and gaming mechanics of those years. Yes, the goal is easy as pie. We play as Jerry, who's running through a maze of bookcases and other furniture, collecting chunks of cheese. Tom is also here, and he's chasing us. As you progress through the game, more traps appear, and other cats aid Tom. They also look pretty familiar. So it's kind of like Pac-Man about a cat and mouse. I loved it, and I recommend the game to everyone who still remembers their favorite childhood heroes. Next up, World of Warriors. A pretty amusing game, I must say. The whole gameplay is based on quick time event attacks. We travel around the map from level to level, and on each map, there's someone to beat up, of course. Generally, the idea is not new, but it is wonderfully implemented. This is the game if you want to have fun practicing your reflexes, because if you want to strike the enemy hard, your reaction should be pretty good. The graphics are also worth mentioning. The look is cartoony, bright, and generally pretty cool and unusual. There's a donate option in the game, and most likely you'll face it sooner rather than later, but you'll definitely have time to enjoy the game first. The next game is Ocean Tales. From the title, one might conclude that the game is about the sea, but most of the gameplay is a typical mobile strategy game with a slight touch of anime. You have to build a village in order to obtain the resources needed to build a ship. And that is not fast, let me tell you. In the meantime, you need to raise your pigs, grow your potatoes. Oh, of course, you can sail around the world, there are even sea battles, but it's really just a way to get from one location to another. And that one is with pigs and potatoes, too. The game is alright, it's just the title that's a bit off. Those who love mobile strategy should like the game. And now, another fun and original interpretation of football, World Soccer Striker. The aim, in general, is to score a goal, but here the trick is how it's done. Each team has just one player, and they not only kick the ball, but also each other, and very actively. Ow! You can even see trickles of blood. I think it's an entertaining game, crying out to be on arcade machines. There's nothing abstruse, just two dudes kicking each other. Well, and the ball sometimes. The game has three game modes, arcade, tournament, and endless. You can change your dude's clothes, and there's even an RPG trope of leveling up somewhat. In my opinion, it's a very nice time killer. You won't be bored. Just like playing Tetris with a lot more kicking. And the last game, Enosha 3, Children of Carnia. Well, it's probably just one of those days. This game's also anime, and it's also quite nostalgic. This time, it reminds me of The Legend of Zelda, which you can see the similarities for yourself. Here you travel the world with a small party, and you chop up every baddie along the way. And that's almost everything. There are also quests, gear, levels, skills, new party members. In short, it's a usual RPG with nice pixel graphics. It's quite simple, but still good. More so the world, from its cities to its caves, is quite diverse. In general, I'm satisfied with it. Well, that's all for today. Download, subscribe, like the video, and our Facebook page. This was Jay with reviews of mobile games from Mob.org. See you!